Howdy! Welcome to the sixth episode of What's in My Mallet Bag, where today I have quite literally the most unique set of mallets in my collection. Those mallets are custom mallets from Blue House Mallets. Before we begin, I'd like to say thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can either click the link down below or head over to patreon.com slash briankscole. So one thing that I think most musicians always want to be able to get is their own custom gear. I remember as a kid designing custom drum sets, custom guitars, and even custom goalie pads on online creators because I always thought it was so cool to have your own kind of signature type of gear that you could use. Now I'm pretty happy to see that come over to both Vibraphone and Marimba. Similar to those websites where you get to see every piece of the guitar get added on or every little piece of the drum set that gets put out there. Blue House Mallets does that as well. You get to see every little change you make to your mallets along the way. Now this goes across several different options of customization, which let's go into them step by step. First option is the head type. You have the option of a wheel, a ball, or with what I chose, a mushroom head type. Second option is the weight of the mallet heads themselves. Now you have three options. You have a light, a standard, and a heavy weight. I went with the standard weight, but I found that to be on the more of the heavier side. So if you're somebody who says, nope, I need to have lighter mallets, definitely go with the lighter ones. And if you're somebody who wants really heavy mallets, then absolutely get the heavy kind. Now third, which is probably one of the more important aspects of the mallets, is the type of hardness. Now there are five hardnesses, soft, medium soft, medium, medium hard, and of course, hard. I went with the medium option as I wanted something that was right down the middle. I definitely think that these are a bit more on the softer side. Now that probably has something to do though with the next option, which is your articulation. Now that pretty much just changes the amount of attack that you want from the mallets. You have cool, you have clean, and you have clear. Cool being least amount of attack, clear being a lot of attack, and clean, which is what I went through, which is again, just kind of middle of the road. Now next is the shaft material. Now Blue House offers a wide array of shaft types. This can involve wood shafts such as birch and hickory, it's a couple of rattan options of natural and e-rattan, and even a composite plastic material. Now most of these mallets you get the option of an 8mm or a 10mm thickness. I went with the e-rattans at a 10mm thickness, and I have to say I'm a huge fan of the e-rattan from Blue House. The mallet's got a bit of a woody type feel to it, which I really like, gives a little bit of extra grip than a normal rattan mallet but it does also have the flexness of a rattan mallet. I'd say if you have to give it a one, two, or three, one being super flexy, three being super stiff, I'd say they have about a two flex to them, so not too much give, but not too stiff either. Another thing I like about the shafts is the Blue House logo looks like it's been branded on or at least laser engraved into the rattan, which, I mean, it's a small thing, but it's something I really do like about these shafts. Now, of course, after we talk about the shaft type, you get the option of the shaft length. Now, your length depends on the type of shaft that you chose, so it can range from 37 centimeters to 42 centimeters. So the final option, which, let's be real, is probably the one we're most excited to get to, and that's the color of the yarn. On the Blue House website, you get nine color options. They're all right here. I went with the raspberry one, which is kind of a pinkish, material which actually was voted on by my patrons so if you want to get in some youtuber polls and support the channel head over to my patreon so after i ordered the mallets i then received an email about a day later from brad howard over at blue house he had said that they had way more colors and way more yarn types that weren't quite available on the website yet that he offered for me to pick from now these yarn types they range from yarn that would be best on a marimba or yarn that'd be best on a vibraphone or one that works as a crossover mallet, and just some other fun colors that went with all of that. So I went with the standard yarn on the website, which is a hemp wrap, which I'm a huge fan of. I think it's quite durable material, which for playing on vibraphone and playing pretty hard, it's a great choice. Now one cool feature, which you don't quite get from those custom guitar, or custom drum set websites, is that you actually get to hear what the mallets sound like before you order them. So once you add all your options together, on the final page you're able to hear what it sounds like on both marimba and vibraphone which I don't know if that gives a perfectly good example, but it's definitely a cool thing to hear. It gives you a good idea of what you're ordering. Speaking of ordering, these mallets are actually relatively cheap. You can buy single mallets, which is also a pretty cool feature, for only $14 US, or you can get a pair for $28 US. I gotta admit, that's an incredibly good deal, especially for your own custom mallets. Now here's a quick sound test of my custom set of Blue House vibraphone mallets.
there you have it. That's what some custom mallets from Bluehost can sound like. I know it doesn't give a perfect example of what they offer because you can literally order whatever you want from them. But I'm a huge fan of these mallets. They're absolutely amazing and I'm really glad I ordered them. Let me know what you think of these mallets down below in the comments. Also, let me know if you've ordered a set of custom mallets from Bluehost and what did you think of them? Now, if you wanna create your own custom mallets, of course, I put Bluehost's website down in the description below, which I also like to say is a very funny domain name. I thought it was very clever. I also put in the description the specs of my mallets if you like them so much you like to set for yourself. Thank you for watching the sixth episode of What's in My Mallet Bag. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to my Patreon, which I've linked down below, as well as you can support me on my other social media accounts, which again, are all linked down below. Thank you all for watching, and have a great week.